Want to be better on offense in Madden 23? He could go all the way. Then you need to learn how to read a defense. Whether running the ball or passing the ball, reading a defense can give you an advantage every single play. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys what to look for so you can know exactly what defense your opponent has on the field at all times. Then I'll show you what routes and run plays are best for attacking that defense so you can have success on every single play. So if you want to learn this important skill that will take your game to the next level, stick around after the intro. Touchdown! For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Now to simplify this as much as possible, when it comes to reading a defense, there's really only two positions on the field that you need to look at on any given play. You're always going to start with your cornerbacks first, and then you're going to look at the safeties. The linebackers and the defensive linemen are not part of your read structure. Everything you need to know about a defense will be given away by the position of the safeties and the cornerbacks pre-snap. It's also important to make your reads immediately after you come out of the huddle. Once your opponent starts pinching, pressing, shifting, things like that, it's going to make it harder to read the defense because all these adjustments can really hide what you're looking for. So the second you come out of the huddle, make sure you're first looking at those cornerbacks before your opponent makes any adjustments. The first defense we're going to start off with is going to be the cover two zone. It can typically be called things like Tampa 2, Cover 2 Hard Flats, Cover 2 Sink. There's a lot of different Cover 2 zones that go by different names and do slightly different things. Including Cover 2 Invert, which is a much less commonly used defense, but we'll go over that in a little bit later. But at the end of the day, all the Cover 2 shells will look exactly the same pre-snap. They'll all be in the same position to start. And the reason I'm starting off with Cover 2 is because the cornerbacks are probably the most unique in this defense compared to any other defense. Typically, in most defenses, you're going to see the cornerbacks starting back at about an 8-yard depth off the line of scrimmage or in front of the receiver, making this one of the easiest zones to recognize in the game. Now, typically, you would also look at the safety, but on this play, if you see a five-yard cornerback depth, you don't even have to look at the safety because you already know what defense this is. Mm. The reason that the cornerbacks play down this position is because a lot of times they have to cover lower receivers. So if they start at your standard eight-yard depth, which you'll see a lot in cover three and cover four, they won't be able to get down into a hard flat if that's where you decide to make your adjustment, or they won't be able to do things like zone chuck a defender, which is something that they typically do. So they really have to start out at a lower position to do their job properly. Beating cover two is simple enough. I'm going to use a play called the Saints drive out, but you really just need any play with a corner route. You just need to set up a concept where one route is pulling back the safety and then one route is pulling down the cornerback. In this scenario, we have a streak pulling back the safety and a drag pulling down the cornerback. You can see once the cornerback reacts to the drag, this route is easy. You just have to basically bullet and pass lead away from the safety. All of the offensive concepts and plays I'm going to show you in today's video can be found from my New Orleans Saints offensive ebook. I'll have a link in the description below if you guys want to check that out. Or you can always check out my website at madmoneyshot.com. <laughs> Cover 2 invert will have a slightly different look pre-snap. You can see this play here. We have a cover 2 invert where one side is a regular cover 2 and the other side is an actual invert where the cornerback is going to play the deep half. If I choose the play, you'll see that there's a very different look on the actual field as well. I'm going to go ahead and motion this guy out so I can isolate this cornerback because you can see on this play that he's at a slightly deeper depth than the cornerback on the standard cover two side. Anytime you see cornerbacks at different depths, it means that there's always going to be a split field defense where half the defense is going to be running one way and the other half is running a different way. In this scenario, the cornerback has to cover the deep half of the field, so they need to drop back further pre-snap so they don't get burned and get to that spot. This play will get beat the exact same way by the exact same play, though. As you can see, it's still the exact same cover two, and it'll be beaten by the exact same concepts. Cover 2 defense is also one of the weakest run defenses in the game, especially up the middle because the safeties drop back post snap, offering no help and run support at all. Next up, we'll go over cover three zone. Now, cover three zone, you typically can look at the safeties and it can be a little bit more helpful than cover two, but at the end of the day, you still want to look at the cornerbacks. The cornerbacks in cover three zone and cover four will always be eight yards off the line of scrimmage unless your opponent is in a matching concept and certain formations, sometimes that'll change. But for the most part, it's a good rule of thumb. Five yards off the line of scrimmage, cover two. Eight yards off the line of scrimmage, cover three or cover four. If they have a single high safety, that's usually a pretty good tell that it's a cover three. But a lot of cover threes will have two high safeties and one will drop down into the box. 
after the ball is snapped, so it's not the most accurate read to make pre-snap. You can, however, keep an eye on these safeties for that dropping safety post-snap, which is typically a good idea as well. Cover 3 and Cover 1 Man are designed to look very similar, but there is one very important tell once again when it comes to the cornerbacks, and that's something that I'll get to later when I get to Cover 1 Man. Because the cornerbacks pull back to deeper routes, typically you can throw the ball underneath the routes like this, which is called a table route for an easy catch and run up the sideline. If you don't have a play that has this table route, you can simply put your running back on an out route and it'll have the exact same effect as you can typically just catch this underneath for a good catch and run although table routes are going to be much better one of the best audibles you can make is an out route whether it's a five yard out route like this which should get open every single time or a 10 yard out route where you simply just smart the five yard out route this here will be even better and they really just have to throw it in the break and you can see how it gets wide open as the cover three cornerback is nowhere to be found another really good option is going to be attacking the seams because the single high safety is all alone in the middle as long as you have a secondary route keeping that safety honest in the middle of the field typically you can get a streak open right up the seam for a very big play next up we're going to finish off our zone coverages with cover four there's two different types of cover four and they're very different the cover four drop and the cover four quarters are very different defenses even though they'll look the exact same pre-snap both defenses will have their cornerbacks at the same eight yard depth as cover three and then the safeties will just basically be standing side by side only formations can really give away the difference between these two plays. Certain formations like gun formations or spread formations like this, you'll notice that the safeties typically are in front of their intended targets because cover four safeties and cornerbacks kind of act more like man coverage than they do actual zone coverage. In man coverage, you don't want to give up any inside or outside leverage, so they will typically line up right in front of the defender on any given play, which is exactly what cover four quarters does. These two defenses also react differently, get beat in very different ways. You can see this cover four drop does exactly what it says. It's going to do it's going to drop back it's not going to let anything get behind it even in the goal line situation like this you can see with a receiver right underneath him he's not worried about that because he just doesn't want to let anything get behind him when it comes to cover four quarters which is a much better matching man principle style defense you'll notice these outside cornerbacks will basically just drop on the closest receiver to them as long as that receiver's past 10 yards and it won't drop away from them until another receiver comes into their area making cover four match a much better defense now when it comes to cover four this is probably the best run defense in the game because typically the safeties will play the run first unless you guess pass they will always walk down the box and try to fill run lanes so that makes this one of the hardest defenses to run against but there's still plenty of ways to beat this with a passing play when it comes to beating cover four drop, the same routes that worked against cover three are still going to apply with the exception of the streak up the seam. The table route to the running back is still going to work because the zone still dropped back allowing for easy catch and run space underneath. Same thing goes for your 10 yard out route or react the same way as the cornerbacks are more concerned with dropping back than actually covering tightly. But since cover four match essentially acts a lot more like a man coverage, you really have to use the same routes that beat man coverage. Routes like the zig route, which is very good against man and the a route, which is kind of like an out route, but a man variety version you'll notice here the a route is going to beat that man coverage very easily or cover four quarters cover four match it's the exact same thing where the zig route will work the exact same way on the other side just as long as i have time you'll see you can get very easy catch and runs so things like that drags slants all those things are going to work against cover four match the same way they work against man coverage Next up, we're going to do man coverage. I'm going to start off with man cover zero. Man cover zero will pre-snap look very similar to cover four quarters because a lot of times these safeties, as you can see, are basically hiding behind these cornerbacks are basically man aligned. They don't want to allow any inside or outside leverage once again, which is something you'll notice in every man coverage in the game. They always want to be right in front of their receiver that they're covering. And that same thing goes for cover one man, which we'll talk about next. I said earlier in the video that there was one main difference between cover three zone and cover one man, and it's basically the cornerbacks. When in tight formations like this, you'll notice that a lot of times the lazier cover three cornerbacks will just be a little bit further outside because they don't man align the same way that cover one cornerbacks and man coverage cornerbacks do. And that's because zone coverages don't cover a specific receiver. They cover a specific area of the field. So they have no real need to be in front of a receiver because that might not even be the receiver that they're covering. If you see on this next play, when I switch over to cover one man the cornerbacks shift in because once again they don't want to allow inside or outside leverage so they're always going to try to be right in front of the receiver that they're meant to cover and last but not least we have cover two man which number one you'll notice the safeties are once again just kind of off in their own world because they're more responsible for an area than a receiver so they won't be aligned in front of anybody which is one way to tell the easiest way to tell though is going to be the cornerbacks once again no other defense in the game looks like this where the cornerbacks are down pressing in the receiver's face and that's because in cover two man their job is to redirect 
direct the receivers towards the safeties. That plus the fact that they can get more aggressive based off the fact that they have over the top safety help on both sides. No matter what man coverage you face, the same routes are going to beat every single man coverage, whether they're pressing or whether they're playing off. Uh, routes like what the running back is running, routes like what the slot receivers are running, I find personally that the best routes in the game are going to be zig routes. And if you run it from a formation like this, the user can't really come into play because I can put zig routes on both sides and really have my choice. And both the zig routes will beat just about any single man coverage in the game and very easily at that. You also have routes like slants and drags, but when you run these type of routes, they're going to go over the middle, which is typically where the user might be. They're still going to beat their man coverages, though, as you can see. They're very easy adjustments. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more tip videos like this in the future, please be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. If you guys want to see more tip videos about Madden 23, I'll have one popping up on the screen right now. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.